One of my all-time favorite pasta dishes is spaghetti alla carbonara. I learned to make it when I lived in Italy. And if you make it the real Italian way, there is nothing better. There are some techniques that you need to know to make it perfectly, but then you'll be able to do it perfectly every single time. So let's make some. First, you need to start with really great ingredients. At the supermarket or your specialty store, you're going to get pancetta or prosciutto. Pancetta is Italian bacon. It's very much like American bacon, however, it has not been smoked. You can use the pancetta, but I find that it has a fair amount of fat in it, and I prefer a little healthier alternative. So typically when I make this dish, I will use prosciutto. Prosciutto is cured Italian ham. Whichever product you buy, stack it up, cut it into thin strips, and then we're going to crisp it up a bit. So, in a skillet, let's add a bit of oil, just a little, and we're going to put in our thin strips of prosciutto. Now this is already cured, so it doesn't need to be cooked, but I like to render off the little bit of fat that's on it and to give it just a little bit of crispness. Besides, it needs to be hot in the end to finish cooking the dish. Meanwhile, while our prosciutto is cooking, we need to cook our pasta because spaghetti alla carbonara is a timing issue more than anything. Start your prosciutto, cook the pasta, and in a large bowl, you're going to combine the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. The most important thing that you need to remember about making spaghetti alla carbonara is that the eggs and cream for the recipe need to be at room temperature. These are my eggs. They've been out for about 15 or 20 minutes. So into this large bowl, we're going to break three eggs. If eggs are an issue in your diet, you can use egg substitute in this recipe. We're also using heavy cream in this recipe. Again, if that's an issue, you could use low-fat or non-fat sour cream in place of the cream. Half a cup of heavy cream. Then we're going to whisk this. Meanwhile, let's give our prosciutto a quick stir. And it's beginning to crisp up quite nicely. The pasta is cooking and I'm getting hungry. Okay, so in here right now, we have the eggs and the cream. We're going to add about a third cup of freshly grated Parmesan and some parsley. I typically add all of this stuff to the big bowl of sauce. That way I don't forget anything in the end. And the flavor of this dish comes primarily from the prosciutto and the pepper. So don't skim on the pepper. Don't skimp on the pepper. All right, our sauce is ready. It's important that this is at room temperature because when the pasta is done and the prosciutto is finished, we're going to take the hot pasta straight out of the hot water, drain it very quickly, toss it with our prosciutto, and then we're going to pour this sauce mixture on there. And the heat from the pasta is going to cook the eggs in this sauce. If this sauce is too cold, there's not going to be enough heat to cook it. We don't want to eat raw eggs. So our pasta is done and we're ready to finish our carbonara. As soon as the pasta is finished, you need to take it right out of the water so it doesn't overcook. Drain it well and straight into the skillet with the pancetta or the prosciutto. Now you want to stir this 
to get that prosciutto distributed through the pasta. And while our ingredients in here are still hot, hot, we're going to add the sauce. Okay, now our sauce is on the pasta, and we want to continue to toss this to distribute the sauce in the hot pasta so that the heat from that can cook the eggs. When you first pour the sauce mixture onto the pasta, you'll see that it just looks very shiny. And as you continue to stir this, what you should begin to see are little bits clinging to the pasta. At first glance, you'll think that's Parmesan cheese but it really isn't because it wasn't there when you first put the sauce in the pan. It's bits of cooked egg. That's how you know that your pasta is done. Stir until you have no more runny egg and you have little bits of cooked scrambled eggs on your pasta. So our pasta is finished. All we need now is some crunchy Italian bread cold, crisp glass of white wine, and maybe a green salad. It's a very well-balanced dinner. So there you have it, spaghetti alla carbonara, just like in the Trattorias of Berenza, Florence, Italy. Please join me there for dinner, won't you? <laughs>